loves, thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be DIYing table numbers for a wedding reception as well as the bride and groom's table. I got this from Walmart for 77 cents and then these came from Michael's and they were, um, I believe, I believe these were about a dollar or a couple cents each including these. I know for sure these were 99 cents. Oh, and we're also going to be um, DIYing bridal hangers. Um, I'll show some pictures of some other hangers that I have decorated, but we're going to be DIYing bridal hangers and you can make these bride made hangers if you want to as well. Alright, so let's begin. First what you're going to do is take your wooden number and we are going to hot glue it down to the center of your wooden circle. And just apply some extra hot glue around it to make it stable. And do the same for the number three. Apply some hot glue to the bottom. And center it on your circle. As far as the bride and groom's table, the Mr. and the Mrs., I took a wooden doll and I'm going to just hot glue this to the back of here and then I'll apply it to my, my um, wooden circle momentarily. Okay. Just take some silver silver sterling um, paint. I got this from Michaels and it was only 79 cents. I'll be sure to put it in the description box and you're going to paint a thin layer of this on all of your um, all of your numbers and your Mr. and Mrs. sign. Okay, so you're going to take a paintbrush, wet it just a little bit and I'm going to just get some sort of a cardboard. I'm gonna just apply some paint behind there and begin to paint all around with the silver with the silver paint. I've done it without adding silver paint, and honestly, you can see the wooden part after you've just add the glitter. So I would suggest just putting silver paint behind it in case the glitter doesn't cover all of it, okay? And it doesn't have to be super neat, just make sure you cover, cover it. what it looks like with the silver paint on them with the um, for the table numbers. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same for the Mr. and Mrs. sign. And that's the Mr. and Mrs. sign once you've completely covered it with silver paint. Let these dry for about five minutes and then we'll come back and we'll put some Mod Podge on them. You can also find this at your local Dollar Tree and then we will add the glitter. Okay, so after you're done painting your numbers, let's go ahead and put um, silver around our um, hangers. Just lay these flat, apply silver paint, away and I'm going to hang these since I'm done painting them because I don't want them to smudge just repeat the same step for the other hanger and let these dry for about five to ten minutes and then we're going to come back and add glitter onto them all right 
hope you love. So once you've allowed your numbers to dry from the silver paint, go ahead and take something to place the number inside of so that you can catch the glitter. You're going to apply Mod Podge around it and then we're going to put some glitter on it. I would suggest putting the Mod Podge and the glitter on the bottom first and then holding it from the other angle and putting the glitter at the top of the number just so you can hold it better. So take a paintbrush and apply Mod Podge all the way around. Oops. I got this from Michaels. Just regular silver glitter. You can also buy some from Dollar Tree. Alright, so let's sprinkle some pretty glitter on there. Make sure to cover up that hot glue on the bottom of there and get the corners, all the crevices, shake off the excess, take some more Mod Podge and paint the rest of the number. Very pretty. And that's your number one. Repeat the same steps for the rest of the numbers. And so when it comes to your stand for your Mr. and Mrs. sign, I dug a hole with a hammer and like a um, another like metal object just to hammer out the right amount for the stick to be able to fit right inside of here. And then you might want to go in with some wood glue and um, let that stand so that it can stick to there. You can definitely try hot glue. I'm not sure how secure it, it will be, but I definitely would um, make a hole in there first and then put your um, Mr. and Mrs. sign inside of there. So that's that. So I'm going to complete this and put glitter on the rest of it. Just let this set aside and dry. But that does complete the um, table numbers. Um, I'll show you what it looks like once this dries. But next we're going to go ahead and finish your sequence or glitter hanger. Okay love, so to complete your um, brides um, hanger, what you're going to do is add some Mod Podge on there, just like you did with the, uh, just like you did with the numbers, add it on there, your glitter use your hand and cover all the areas make sure to get the bottom over and repeat the same step. Okay, and the last step is to take some um, ribbon of choice. I got this from Dollar Tree as well. Take some hot glue and glue this down to the top center of your hanger. Like so, press it down. We'll give it a beautiful finish. This will be perfect for pictures. And that completes your hanger design. Look how pretty that is. 
always go back with Mod Podge over the glitter. This will seal it or you can also do here use hairspray that will also seal the glitter so that it won't fall all over the place but here's the finished product it turned out absolutely beautiful I love this hanger this will be good for the bride and the bridesmaids thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you all next time